Hello guys, welcome back to Pronoun Knowledge Hub. I'm Vishal. In today's lecture, we are going to learn about a switch statement in C Sharp. A switch statement can, uh, selects a block of code to be executed based on the expression provided to it. Switch statement consists of multiple case statements, and switch statement is used to check for the large number of conditions. In short, a switch statement contains an expression and multiple case statements. Each case statement contains a block of code to be executed. Also, case statement contains a value which can be a possible match with the value of the expression provided to switch statement. If it matches with the value of any case statement, then the block of code associated with that case statement will be executed. Now, let's take a look at the syntax of the switch statement. The switch statement contains an expression and multiple case statements. Each case statement comes with a value and the code associated with it. The value of the expression provided to switch statement is compared against the value of each case statement. If it matches, then the core block associated with that case statement will be executed. Otherwise, if there are no match, then the core associated with the default block will be executed. Now, let's understand the switch statement with the help of an example. Here, I have created a simple console application. We will write a simple program to demonstrate the use of switch statement. Here, I, I will create a simple variable called age and will assign a value 20 to it. Now, you can also use the write line and read line methods of the console class to prompt the user to enter the value on the console and store that value in the variable age. Here, for the simplicity, I have directly assigned the value 20 to the variable age. Now, let's use the switch statement and print the value of the age on the console. Let's write switch and pass. The variable age to this page. Let's write the first case statement. Let's assume that it contains the value 2. So the case statement will check if the value of the variable age is 2 or not. If it is, then write on the console saying the age is 2 and then write a break. Now, why did we write break? I'll get to that in a second. Now, let's write the second case statement saying if the value is 3 okay, then if the value is 3 then write on the console saying the age is 3 again write the break keyword now if it is not then let's move to the next case statement if the value is 20 all right if the value is 20 then print on the console that the age is 20 write another break statement and end. Now for the last, if none of the value matches, then write a default statement and let's print on the console that the, or let's say in default statement and let's, let's write a break for another time. Now this default statement is an optional, that means even if you don't write this default statement, the program will not throw any kind of error. Also, you can write this default statement anywhere in the switch statement. It is not necessary to write the default statement at the end of the switch statement. No matter where you insert the default statement, it will always be executed in the last. But it is a good practice to insert the default statement at the end of the switch statement. So, when none of the matches value matches with the value of the expressions, then the default statement will be executed. Now, you must be wondering, what is this break? What does it do? Break is actually a keyword in C-sharp. The job of the break statement, as the name suggests, is to terminate the current execution cycle. When C-sharp encounters the break statement, it exits the switch block and the control is passed to the next statement specified after the switch block. In switch block, every case statement should contain a break statement. When the value of the case statement matches with the value of an expression, then the code associated with that particular case statement should be executed and the rest of the code should be skipped. So, using the break statement, C sharp skips the rest of the case statements and the switch block is exited and the control is passed to the next statement provided after the switch block. Now, let me show you the working of this switch statement by running this program in the deeper mode. Until now, we were running the program 
without debugging that is when we are using the keyboard shortcut control f5 but in this case to show the functionality of the switch statement we will run this program in the debug mode debugging is actually the process by which we can find out the logical errors of the program to debug the program we need to set a breakpoint a breakpoint is actually basic but a very essential feature of the visual studio using breakpoints we can ask visual studio where to pause the execution so that we can check the state of the variables or values in that variables so in this case i'm going to set the breakpoint on this case statement and i'm going to run the program in the debug mode you can also go to the debug menu and click start debugging or use the control or, or use the keyboard shortcut f5 to run this program in the debug mode so let's run this program so as you can see the execution hit the breakpoint and the execution is paused with the help of the breakpoint now we can use the f10 to move the execution to the next line so as you can see the cursor is moved to the next line and the break statement and if you press f10 again then the control will directly go out of the switch statement that means using the break keyword the c sharp uh, exited the switch block and the control is transferred to the next statement after the switch block so you can always debug the program with the help of the breakpoint if the output of your program is not what it should be so that you can find out the logical error and correct them you can start the debugging by clicking this icon or using the keyboard shortcut shift f5 i have given the screenshot of the same program in the presentation you can try run this program on your machine and check the output there are some important points you need to remember while working with switch statements you cannot put duplicates duplicate case statements inside a switch statements it will throw an error the data type of the value of the expression and the value of a case statement should be the same also case statement cannot contain a variable they should always contain constant or a literal and there can be only one default statement multiple default statements are not allowed thank you for watching the video if you like this video please give it a like and share it with your friends also if you are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get the notification whenever i upload